Hey guys, Tom Mobile back again. Today I'm gonna to be looking at the new Google Assistant widget and see what it have to offer. So first you can see here on the homepage, they have some recommendation in terms of the trending searches such as Barack Obama, Jenna Ortega. So you're interested about learning about any of these items, you can just click on it and hit search. So here you can click on the friends reunion and I have a few other trending searches as well that you can click on if you're interested in learning more. And next we got the microphone icon. Just click on it and speak what you want to search for similar to Siri. So this always been around for a while with Google Assistant. And after that you got the camera function. So once you click on that you can basically use your camera Google Lens feature to kind of do your searches. Google Lens is able to recognize all of the text that is on the screen. In this case, Trader Joe's sparkling watermelon juice with added ingredients. And if you wanted to translate it, you can click on the top right hand corner to change the languages. I'll select Spanish. It immediately got changed to Spanish, which is pretty cool. And if you want to listen to it, you can just hit listen. Comerciante Joe, espumoso, sandía, jugo, con ingredientes añadidos. Next, if you want to search, you could just hit search. Tap on a word to search for it. Let me change this back to English. It looks like this text is already in English. Try choosing another language. So whatever terms you want to search for, you can basically highlight it. Seems pretty accurate. So Trader Joe's sparkling watermelon juice. Then you can just hit search. Yeah, there it is. Can give you more information about that. So that is pretty cool. On the right hand side, we have the home page. And on here, you can hit search. Just Google anything you want. It's pretty self explanatory. You can go back here. Voice search, that's basically the same thing. Camera translate, we just did that. And on discover, basically, this is all the news based on your personal preferences, what you like to read and everything like that. So kind of a good way for you to discover new news based on your interests. And after that, we got the images tab. So here, kind of a nice way to find new photos. You can either search for a particular image and just type in whatever you want. High five nature, you get any high five pictures that you want there. Hit back or love quotes. Got uh, all different kind of pictures if you're looking for something like that. And you click on any of one of these, gives you option to download and share. So pretty self-explanatory there. Go back, got some GIFs. So if you ever wanna look for new GIFs, they have an option for it now. Just click on any one of these, download, share. After that, got the YouTube, which basically just opens up to your YouTube app. Then we have the downloads. I assume if you download any of these random pictures, it's just gonna go to that folder. Then we'll try downloading a GIF. See where it leads to. Yep, there it is. So it just goes in the download folder. You can also hit the lens button and search for certain terms. They can either recognize it by the actual photo or the text. Next, we have the app section. So this is already built into the Google Assistant app and is sitting in the cloud somewhere. So you can essentially access all these apps without actually needing to download it onto your phone, which is kind of cool. Because phone can have limited storage and everything like that, but in theory, if you can play certain games without having to download it, that's gonna be pretty neat. Let me see if I could locate any games here jobs education weather government 
I wish this would have been in alphabetical order. Oh, here it is. So we got the game section. Click on any of these random games to play. So here's Tic-Tac-Toe. Looks like you're just playing against the computer at this point. There it is. So they got a whole bunch of other different games that, oh, this one looks like it's bringing you to an app. Don't want to have to download that, but you can go back to the games tab. You can do snake. Just hit play and you're on your way. And at the top, you got the video tutorial section. So basically, have a mini animated video of everything that basically just went over. Can access the translate camera, search internet, use voice, listen to web pages, discover new apps. Don't need to save your searches anymore. Thank you for watching. Please take a moment to like and subscribe. Let me know you find videos like these helpful. And see you guys next time.